Hello and welcome to Antis TV. My name is Jack and today I'm joined by the one person in the world that I wanted to be joined by <laughs> to show me through what's in front of me and his name is... Luke from Cork. Oh, come on, brother. Yes. Right, I'm not going to mess about on this one because <laughs> this is a serious bit of kit. What have we got? Tell me about it, brother. Okay, the Minilog. We all love the Minilog. Um, it's been a massive success for us. But this is like the Minilog on steroids, basically. Because we've taken everything that's good about the Minilog, um, the analog synthesis, the oscilloscope, um, the nice kind of form factor, the lovely wood on the back. And then we've added some elements from Prolog and Monolog. So we've got the multi-engine in there. So that's an extra oscillator, which is a digital oscillator, which you can do so much with. It's got um, lots of waveforms already in there and you can load your own waveforms in. Um, we've got a new joystick as well. It's now an XY joystick, which makes it a little bit more usable and you can then assign obviously more functions to it. Um, we've got a new filter. So this is derived from the Prolog as well and a whole new bank of effects as well. Again, derived from the Prolog with three simultaneous effects as well. So it's, yeah, it's pretty special, I'm not gonna lie. Right, we're gonna have an audio, that's that's the run over the overview. If you wanna see audio of this, there'll be an audio only video where we're both playing through it. Uh, but should we go bit by bit? Yeah, if you like. And do it yeah. proper, like yeah. grown-ups? If you want to, yeah. We can I'm gonna be a grown-up today, <laughs> Luke, come on. I mean, I'm impressed, <laughs> okay. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> So what do you want to do? Just work through the different All right, sections? Let's hear some oscillators, there's All sweeps right. and filters, let's yeah. hear these effects and go through it. Let's do it. Okay, so we'll go to an initialised patch then, shall we? Yeah, in it. In it. Yeah. In it program. In it, bra. Yeah, so so there's our saw wave. And it, and what I love about the Minilog and the Minilog XD is the fact it's so clearly laid out and you literally just go from left to right and follow your signal flow. So. And you can see on the screen exactly what's going on. So we can say, okay, there's my saw wave. There's my triangle wave. And there's my square wave. Can't uh, overstate how clear and lovely that screen is. If it's, you haven't been uh, in front of one, it's well worth it. If yeah. you're ordering offline, you won't be disappointed. Yeah, it's very cool. And then you've got obviously your controls within your VCO one as we're listening to now. So you've got shape, so if we're on a square wave, you can do pulse width quite easily. Or wave shaping on things like a saw wave. And you can really see how that's changing the sound. It's addictive. It, it really is, yeah. Sorry, it's, we're yeah. both like staring at the Like the moths. Yeah. And then you've got your second oscillator, and, and this is your mixer, so the true position of that at the moment is that, and the true position of that at the moment is that. So, just the, that's, yeah. and the quality of the, the control. Yeah, the, the pots. Yeah. We get yeah. Being serious, the pots feel incredible. Yeah. Yeah. So positive, aren't they? Yeah. But then so video two. So we've now got a second oscillator. We can adjust the pitch of that or the octave. How many voices are in here? Four voice. So it's four note polyphony. And I mean, that sounds raucously fat. Yeah. Is that one voice? Yep. That's one voice. So you could stack four of those. Can you do, do you do a unison y? Um, there's no unison. Right. Uh, well, yeah, you've got the, sorry, you've got different modes. Yeah. So poly at the moment. Yeah. So four notes. But if you do unison, then it becomes. you can really, if you want to just go full on unison. Yeah. Now, the reason why I said that is because it sounded so big and because I'm making faces that I'm going to <laughs> myself, is because I've cranked up the speakers. <laughs> I cranked up the speakers uh, knowing that you were going to bring the, 
the fire today, <laughs> and you've already brought it, man. And you've already brought it. So they're like, tr and they're analog oscillators. They are, yeah, completely analog. But yeah. the new bit is the multi-engine. Yeah, the, this is the the exciting bit in a way because it, it, you can then kind of go in new directions with it. So if we just turn down so the three, analog, this section, is the third oscillator. Third oscillator. So right. let's turn off the first two just so we can hear it properly. Turn up the multi. So now we've got different types of um, waveforms, if you like. So you've got noise, which is what it's on now. And then you've got different types. Low, peak. Let's just put it onto poly again, actually. Kind of decimated waveform. And you can shape those as well. So you've got different ones of those. Then you've got the VPN section. Uh, so this is um, our version of FM, if you like. Sine waves. Source. Squares. So they're very FM sounding, some of them. So as you can hear, that engine is like totally different from the that, analog side. That's an engine, that's not a wavetable. No, that's an engine. no, no, no. You can, it's got user uh, waveforms that you can load in as well, so you can create wavetable type. Is that in, so in an editor? Yeah, it's in. It's actually um, a dedicated, um, it's basically C++ coding, so it's a coding thing. You have to code your own oscillator. Sounds easy, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and, then, and then you can load it in via our librarian. And there's already quite a lot of third party people that have already been doing this for the prologue. And they, they will be compatible with the Minilog as well. So there's already a little bit of a library appearing for those. So that, yeah. So not only does it sound amazing out of the box, the sort of uh, More noise than I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and really, uh, you know, like a separate synthesis engine almost in that waveform, but then uh, user. Yeah. Yeah, which you, and the beauty of this is then you can combine it with the analog stuff. And then so you've got that. Lovely mix of now in in uh, user. Could I uh, put like a sample of a flute in there? No, you couldn't. It has to be. Um... <laughs> so he's gigging. <laughs> and if I look, if I keep looking at someone, if if the Maltese Falcon, say hi, Maltese Falcon. Hi. We're flying with him today. He's flying. In but theory, it... <laughs> you could get close to that kind of sound by someone coding that that from the ground up. But it's not a case of where it's, it's not, not a it's not sample. Yeah, it's not right, a sample okay, where cool. you just take a sample, put it in, and then you can key map it across. It's not. It doesn't work in the same way as that at all. But it, it's um, it's cooler. E equally, if not more powerful <laughs> than that. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So huge amount in there. You can sync them. You can sync them. You got ring modulation. Ring modulation yeah. on these absolutely diamond switches. Yeah, great, aren't they? Oof. Um, and then, like we sort of touched on, you've got your different voice modes. So you've got poly mode, unison mode, chord mode. Which plays different chords, mm -hmm. and then an arpeggiator as well. When I flick to the chord mode, how yeah. do I change which so, chord? So. Uh, let's so. Yeah. There. Ah, so voice okay. mode depth. It tells you on the screen Ooh. as well what the chords are. Yeah. So, so. handy. Yeah. <laughs> So handy. When yeah. in doubt, just look at the screen. Yeah, exactly. And that's the same for these other modes. So unison mode, that'll be the D tune. <laughs> and then poly mode. Turns it into kind of duo mode, so it kind of um, detunes the oscillator a little bit as well. So you can kind of get that detuned sound yeah. easily rather than having to tweak it. Yourself. I heard that in some of the presets, I could feel that breadth, yeah. almost slop, almost, is it like yeah. slop? Or yeah, the, and then this the, just gives you that breadth a little bit, doesn't it, rather than straight down. Right, kill it in the mixer. Yeah. Uh, you know, that mixes, great, very yeah, exciting. Well, joke. we've been yeah. using that already just <laughs> to bring in the different sounds. Obviously, you've got your filter then. Yes, let's get into that. And this is new, right? Is it it's, a new one? It's, it's, it's derived from the prologue, but it is new, yeah. So, silky smooth. Yeah, let's let's do a full um, yeah, Sonic full State sweep. <laughs> this one's for you, Nick, my brother. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, let's go half mass resonance. I love watching the oscilloscope. Really nice. I mean, who programmed that? <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? It serves a race. <laughs> Uh, full mast, fully erect resonance. It's so incredibly represented there. Yeah. And, and the noise, what is it, uh, 18 dB or? Yes. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't sound yeah. as ex as extreme, but it suits it with the poly, I think. Yeah, it does. I almost sound uh, like I knew what I was talking about then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got drive as well. Oh, I can drive this. So it's off at the moment, so let's. Okay, I'm going to go half mass resonance. Oh, it's come on. Mild, yeah. Are there two different drives? Yeah, and then put it on, that's 100% now. Oh. Oh, Keyboard, keyboard, so keyboard, so keyboard track adjusts where the filter reacts on the whole keyboard. So yeah. if it's off, then it will be um, it'll be the same filter over the whole keyboard. But if you put it on to say 100, it'll track with the pitch. It'll track with the, I think we change the time. So it opens up here and then gradually closes down. Nice. Yeah. Woo! Uh, and envelopes. Yes, so you've got two envelopes. Um, you've got your regular amp EG, envelope generator. So attack, decay, sustain, release. But then you... Sorry, I've got to stop looking at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm going googly-eyed. But then you've got a secondary envelope where you can send various things to. So for instance, the, LF, uh, the, uh, the cutoff or... So the pitch, simple or, here. Yeah. Uh, love it. Let's do cut off. Let's get yeah. some squelch. Yeah, so you can get different kind of. Wicked. Uh, an AFO? Yes. So we're doing that off a minute. Um, so we've got, again, different destinations. Pitch. Shape or cut off. Different waves. So you can have something smoother or stepped, like a square wave. And the one shot's pretty cool. Yeah, it's one like shot. An another envelope. Yeah, almost. exactly, yeah. Yeah. For percussive sounds. Because that, that thing, the poly thing, really turned me on being a, uh, you know, liking chords and things yeah, like that. Yeah, but yeah. Those sounds from the very get-go, the robustness of it and some of the features it just make it so versatile. It does. We'll, we'll, I think, we'll conclude that in the end. I but. think that's where it wins over the original Minilog um, and partly why we had the monolog because it, that's great for basses. Mm -hmm. The Minilog's better for kind of pads and other synth sounds, whereas this really can cover that the whole lot mm -hmm. very easily. Right, and this bit, I had a little playthrough of this... Uh, the effects just bring it to life, and yeah, and are they your own effects? Like Korg, yeah, is it, you're not like licensed effects. Not at all. These They're are... all proprietary Korg effects. Um, Let's hear them. Should we get a nice kind of plain sound? I tell you what, I sometimes just use a nice pad to this, or different things. Really, yeah, whatever you fancy. Yeah, so if we go for this one. <laughs> two things. Sounds great. One. Two. Comes up there. Lukewarm pad. <laughs> Did you make that? I, I might have done. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you hussy. <laughs> Absolute. Sounds unreal, man. So let's go and put some modulation on that. And again, it's dead easy. You just mm -hmm. select what effect you want. Yeah. And then you can start going through. So if you want to fade And it's 
nice and easy to just kill the effect as well, so. So in the mod section, we've got we've got phaser flange, course, chorus, ensemble, phaser. Oh, can I hear a bit of that ensemble? Yeah, of course. Ensemble. So old school. Man. Sometimes uh, I'm reluctant on some other keyboards to put the inbuilt effects on there because it just seems to kind of like put a condom over the whole thing. Yeah, and yeah sometimes it can really just kill the sound. <laughs> and Luke it? and I don't like those. <laughs> <laughs> modulation effects you've got um, really nice delays as well yeah let's go reverb um, let's go and oh yeah go reverb. let's go reverb yeah. so, so should we go for something short and yeah I've got plinkety nice plonk. Little, uh, this one I usually use actually so you can then again you're in reverb so you can just start selecting different types Plate. yeah Quite nice. Dig it. Yeah. Now we're going for space. And it just lingers there. So posh. Then you've got. Let's get that riser. delay. Oh. This is similar to space, but. This well, is trances. similar to the prologue, actually, yeah. So, and oh, again, ambient dudes. Yeah, yeah. And submarine. Yeah, a lot more low frequency there. You can really hear that. Wow. Uh, delays? Yeah, so delays. Um, let's go for a different pattern. Tempo sync delay, as you can hear. Ooh. So the the tempo, it, will it sync automatically? Yeah. Yes. No, you have to select it. Um, but that's nice. So you can do subdivisions I think of, and, or yeah, three BPM. Ah, oh, cool. So not all of them. But right, let's go through it one by one. With yeah, this. Okay. Let's start on. We'll kick it off, and we're going to go with what we go first. First. Okay, mono. We start from the beginning, so it'll be stereo. Then. Stereo. Here we go. Stereo delay initialized. Realise that might be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a see. Yeah, so we just play notes. Yeah. Cool, so and then we're going to... Just press select and it'll go to the next one. Oh. There you go, mono. So it's the same thing, but it's not in stereo. Yeah. Ping, Ping pong. pong. So it's going... We're just going to go through them one by one. This is for all the synth heads out there. High pass. So it filters the delay. Mm -hmm. Tape. Yeah, that sort of puts a bit of a low pass on it, doesn't it, as it fades off. Like we're also available for hand puppetry. <laughs> 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 One tap. Stereo BPM. So and this will, play uh, if I play the sequencer, it'll be in time, that right? That should be, yeah, now. Dope. Select a mono, mono piece. So. Ping BPM. That's quite nice, because ping it from left to right. High 
bypass BPM. <laughs> Yes. I mean, if that wasn't it's just great. to change the groove of the sequ right, and that alludes to uh, the sequencer in there. Yes, it does. Well, to yeah, to uh, yeah, that's the sequencer. just generated loads yeah. of music for me. What's going on sequencer-wise? Or, or any wise? clock if you've got your MIDI clock yeah. coming. But what's yeah. in there sequencer-wise? So you've got sixteen-step sequencer, um, and you can use it in different ways. So, for instance, you could have something. What I really love is the fact that you can let's see. I've got one to show you here. This one. So this is an arpeggiated sound. But once you start combining that with the sequencer, you can get some, like that last one we just heard, you can get some really slow evolving patterns because you're just having one chord or piece of harmony, if you like, per step. So you can have 16 changes, but it's still animated because the arpeggiating is working. So you get this sort of thing. Step three, step four. See what's going on. There's an arpeggi yeah. yeah. An arpeggiator per step. Yes. So you're doing an arpeggiator pattern. So that's step one. This yeah. is step two. This is step three. For instance. Cool. And then you've got sixteen. So you can have sixteen changes. And because the tempo is really slow. C can I see, uh, the how, how the do you see that in the steps? How do you interact with the sequencer? So you've got um, edit mode, mm -hmm. where you can go into the sequence edit. Yeah. And then you can go into these little menus here, so you can see the BPM, you can see the step length, step resolution. Right. So that can be, um, so if it was on 16s, that would fly through that really quick. But because it's on one over one, that's why it's moving really slowly. Because you've got the arpeggiator, moving quite quickly. Yes. You don't need the sequencer to move quickly. So there's just clever little programming tricks mm. you can do like that. Swing, you can swing it as well. Um, gate. Uh, and then you can do other stuff like the motion. So on this one, if I press motion, you can have four oh. lanes of motion. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. So let's so just I said play that it and because, you'll see. Uh, so I just want to explain because yeah, people sorry. are going to be like, he's overreacting <laughs> like they normally do. But I've never seen this before. I've got four waveforms there. Yeah. So that, are they showing me essentially like uh, your automation lanes? Exactly. It's exactly what but they visually. are. Visually. But we call it motion, but it is automation. So if you think of if you're doing automation in your software, yeah. it's exactly the so same I can thing. Sit, I love that. That's yeah. what, I've never seen that. I've seen it in your Volkers, you call it motion. Yeah. But it was always heard or seen with the blinking yeah. light. But to have that visual is amazing. And you've got a dedicated button just to press to see it. So if you press play, yeah. we can just watch it go through and you'll see what's happening. So you'll you'll hear it open up now. I think so I think that so that's all that life I'm hearing in yeah, the sequences so you're playing. So it's opening up now, so that's obviously the filter of this one. Let's go back down. It's incredible, incredible one. So, so four things can be automated yeah. throughout a and sequence. And then if you do want to see what they are, that's that same menu I was just in there. It's one of these ones uh, here. So you can see lane one, VCO2 shape, yeah. lane two, VCO2, VCO1 shape, portamento, and the intensity, the intensity of the envelope generator. And then the next screen. And will it motion? Will it, can I motion anything? Yeah, anything you want. Yeah. Only four in total, but it can be literally any control on here. <sighs> Um, and then you can turn them on and off. So if you think you've recorded something, I'm not quite sure if that's working, you can turn it off or you can just clear. And you can also smooth um, individual lanes as well. So, because for instance... If, yeah, if you're yeah. a bit shaky. Yeah, or if it was... Because you can <laughs> you're do... You're off the source, you're uh, trying to get Because what you can also do, which is brought over from the monologue, you can, you can write in a step. You can write in a control per step. So if I just show you this, you'll see what I mean. We can get nuts. Yeah, so here we go. So if you go for this one, for example. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So you've got that bass sound, but then you step in. Hey. Those kind of snares, effectively. And very clear. Yeah. I can see yeah. where it's coming. And if you want to step in another one, you just do that, and there it is. The sequencer, I just looking around it, we've got C V in and out, sync yeah. in and out. What does it does the sequencer pump out that information as well? Do yeah. You know? Uh well see they're C V ins, so you can send um C V signals from external sequencers or synths. Okay, sorry, okay. Yeah, but and sync in and out is our kind of protocol we use for our Volkers. It, it works with MS20, our policy, mm -hmm. all of all the core, um, electrodes, all of our core gear with sync in and out. And that's just a timing thing. That's all that is. Um, just to keep everything in And it's the sustained sync. pedal input. Yeah. So you can play... Proper. Proper, yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> proper. And, um, and MIDI, of course, and USB. So you can clock so it I to could your have... computer. Yeah. It's really hard not to buy it, isn't it? Yeah, it's very hard. Yeah. It is. <laughs> because at, I mean, roughly, I think, how much of these... I think they're starting out the around either. 565. Which is a bonkers price. That's for what you incredible. Get. Yeah, yeah. For the price of like a crappy workstation, <laughs> you yeah. know. Yeah. So I'm gonna be really honest, man. Yeah. Like the 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 depth of sound out of there, it's, and let alone how it fits in amongst other equipment. It's one of those special instruments, I think, that's greater than the sum of its parts as well. Yeah. It just has something about it, something magical, I think. And how do yeah. you find the keys? Keys are nice. Yeah. Um, Obviously, me being a player, I would prefer full-size yeah. keys, but... Oh, yeah, he's a player. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, for what it is and the form factor we're trying to go for to make it fit on your studio yeah. desk, it's perfect, really, and it's perfectly playable. It's not like the very small keys you get. Um, they're called slim keys, so they're made to... Uh, be so you can mm -hmm. get around it, and I don't find it an issue. No, I had, a, I had a play on it, in, uh, and we're going to do, like I said, check out the audio. One, one last thing uh, on here... The XY, I yeah. saw you with the effects. That was really, really cool. And it works great as the old pitch bend. Yeah. So you can do pitch bend and, and modulation. And two other parameters as well, because he's got up and down. Korg always killing the game with the joysticks. Yeah, I love it. Back from the M3, and I said, oh, I dig it. Um, and I just like having it all in one joystick rather than two separate wheels. Mm -hmm. But that's just a personal thing for me. But I just think it makes it more flexible to, uh, to, you, to get where you want to go. You do more than one thing at once. Um, but also, what's nice is that a lot of the programs have been made, so that's already pre-assigned to pretty cool stuff. Mm -hmm. So it'll often just be, you know, filter or. An I think you'll see that in the when we have a jam on some yeah. of the patches. Yeah. I did. Uh, I've actually got my own uh, YouTube channel that I uh, <laughs> oh, really? recorded. Yeah. <laughs> I got uh, currently rocking like three twenty uh, p on the resolution. <laughs> I haven't figured out how to use it. But when I was playing through the patches, I was amazed. I'd flick it down and. The whole world changed, yeah. and I was in another universe uh, sonically. It's really cool. And again, you've made a lot of the patches. I think yeah. the, fir the first patch is yours, though, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Killing the game. Um, I would like for you to play us out, if okay. that's all right, mate. Yeah, and, that's fine. Uh, and that alludes as well to the other sounds. Please go check it. If you like what we're doing here, consider subscribing. And, and if you don't like doing it, uh, we can cope with it. Because yes. I've got Luke here to <laughs> get over the bad comments. <laughs> Mate, yeah. congratulations on this. And when, I mean, I, I feel lucky because I got to play one out at Nam yeah. at the Korg stand where Korg would just won Nam. <laughs> just won it. Like you walk in the door and it was like, yeah, we won. <laughs> uh, he can't say that, but I can say that. Um, when are we going to see it? We're going to see it very soon. It's shipping uh, towards the end of March. So not long. Now. I know a lot of people have ordered it at the yeah, store. Yeah, people so, waiting. Yeah. Yeah, so it really is one of those things to. Uh, to, to get an order in, and that's no, no hype. I think it might. Yeah, we we sold a lot of them. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. It just stacks. It's it's a winner, man. Yeah. It's a winner. Anyway, thank you, mate. I appreciate it. Play Let's us out, it. brother. I've got this really nice sequence, so we're gonna go with this. It is really nice. Yeah. <laughs>